Hi, I'm Mikola. This is part four of the Cloud series, and I know I have a cliffhanger to resolve, but so much happened last week. Thunder in the Cloud last week started with Google buying Motorola Mobility, said they'd buy it for $12.5 billion, mainly for the patents. By the end of the week, overshadowed, bombshell from HP. In a development that shocked the industry, HP's entry into the tablet wars, the touchpad, based on the much admired WebOS platform, suddenly leaped to the head of the class, becoming the top selling tablet overnight. Congratulations, Hewlett Packard. No wonder you're the 11th largest industrial on the Fortune 500. They, what? They're, drop, they, they're dropping the touchpad? But it's a runaway hit. I mean, finally, they have an iPad killer. They're dropping it? In other news, hot off my HP printer. HP plans to get out of the PC business? Are they keeping printers? Oh, good. It turns out that that sudden sales surge for the HP touchpad was based on fire sale pricing. We'll get to that in a moment. HP, giant corporation, world's number one seller of PCs, suddenly say they want to get out of the PC business. Spin it off, sell it. Came as a complete surprise to their customers, to their channel, their retailers, to their employees. Boom! Everyone's rattled! Strategically, this is probably the right move for HP. The margins on the PC business are razor thin. It's really not a good business to be in. Other parts of the company, much more profitable. But HP had built up a huge brand. Remember the computer is personal again? The tennis lady? The snowboard guy? Kick the PJ? But beyond the marketing hype, they built up a very efficient supply chain, worldwide reach with distribution, very good designs, a, a product for every niche in the market, and all of that was suddenly dumped on with a big tanker full of doubt by the way they handled the announcement. And then the touchpad, okay, rocky start, slammed in the reviews for non-competitive hardware. Not many apps. Thick, heavy. But didn't they know that going in? All right, prices slashed to $99, fire sale, instant sellout, blaze of glory. Way to end. But then left languishing, gasping for breath, the platform, WebOS. When HP first acquired Palm, they treated WebOS like it was the key to their golden future. It would finally give them a chance to do what Apple did, control the whole widget, everything from the software platform all the way through the final hardware. But the CEO at the time, Mark Hurd, made a sudden departure. And the new CEO that came in, Leo Apothecker, didn't share that vision. So if WebOS isn't the key to HP's futures, if PCs, phones, and tablets are not the future, what is? Well, as we said, they're keeping printers. Those are very profitable, especially the consumables. Oh yes, it's the old King Gillette formula. Give away the razor, sell you the blades. Beyond that, they're gonna focus on the enterprise. Well, the new guy in charge comes from SAP, an enterprise software company. And they are, they hope, strengthening that business by acquiring the largest software company in the UK. Autonomy. They specialize in extracting meaning from unstructured data. You know, rambling piles of text, like emails, or the scripts for my video. The new HP strategy, dumping PCs and focusing on the enterprise, worked brilliantly for IBM a few years ago. IBM sold their PC business to Lenovo. So the new HP is going to focus on services to enterprise customers, including cloud services. I'll give you an example of a cloud service. An online store, for example. And when HP announced they were going to dump the touchpad for $99, there was a lot of interest. A lot of people tried to order one, and the HP store sort of melted down. Their most visible cloud service stopped working. I think there's a little irony in that. Until next time, I'm Mikola.